Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally going to be sharing with you guys my body butter recipe. This is a simple recipe. You only need three ingredients. This is amazing for your hair, your skin and your nails. I used this body butter and I still use this body butter, but I used this body butter on all three for long periods of time and I saw a big improvement in how moisturized my skin was in how healthy my hair was and how strong my nails became from applying this. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. It took me a couple years before I could share it just because I really wanted to master that formula and make sure that the method was foolproof so that I could share it with you guys and you could get the same result. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and share this with anyone that you think would be interested and like I said, it's super simple, but it is super effective. So let's get into how you can get your hair, skin and nails popping. All right, so first you're gonna need 200 milliliters of aloe vera gel. Every ingredient I show in this video, I have got it from Amazon, so I will link everything down below. Then you're gonna need some sweet almond oil as well. and your main ingredient will be shea butter. I like to use a metal bowl because we are gonna put this on a hot stove. I just prefer to use metal over plastic. And then you're also gonna need two forms of measuring or form of measuring your, out your ingredients. You are 100% gonna need this. I do not recommend a manual whisk. Please use an electric whisk because that is what's gonna make your formula nice and fluffy and lightweight. Then you're also gonna need a glass jar. I prefer glass over plastic because I have found that this actually keeps the temperature of the formula correct. It, it doesn't melt and it doesn't solidify. So I feel like glass is good at conserving that temperature. I'm then gonna switch on the stove and place some water in a pot over that and you're going to allow the pot to steam only place about one third of water into the pot go ahead and place your bowl over that pot and let it heat up for a couple minutes before you add in your shea butter Next, I roughly measured out a one cup of shea butter. So I'm gonna put that into the bowl. At this point, it is nice and hot. So once I've applied it, once I put it in, it should start to melt quite quickly. All right, as you can see, after a couple minutes, it's already beginning to melt. And this, we want it to completely melt before we take it off the fire. This is what the shea butter should look like once it's fully melted. We're going to add in that sweet almond oil while the shea butter mixture is still hot. At this point, I have turned off the stove but the bowl is obviously still hot, so this is the best time to apply your oil so it can get to the same temperature as the shea butter. All right, so I have combined the almond oil and the shea butter. I do not go ahead and mix or anything. I just combine all the ingredients. And then lastly, I'm gonna cut open the top of that aloe vera gel i just find this easier to get it all out and i am going to combine that with the almond oil and the shea butter once again i do not mix anything at this point i just combine So this is what the mixture should look like. You can see the chunks of aloe vera gel in there and everything is all combined and everything should now become the same temperature. And I leave this out for a little bit until it goes room temperature. I make sure that I cover this down with some cling film just to keep it hygienic, make sure that no dirt or dust gets into your mixture. 
so even if you don't have cling film use some foil or if your bowl has a lid use the lid but make sure you cover it down and then i go ahead and pop that in the fridge for about two to three hours this is what it should look like when you take it out of the fridge. Now, this is a very important step. Make sure that you leave this bowl to just sit on the counter until it is room temperature. So I would recommend a good two to three hours to get back to room temperature before you do anything. This is a very important step. This is what it should look like. It should be solid. You should still see that aloe vera gel, but everything else should be solid. Now a good tip to check if this is gonna be soft enough is to just lightly press your, your electric whisk, the ends of it into the mixture. And as you can see, I'm lightly pressing it and it is easily making its way through. So that tells me that it is soft enough. Look how soft that looks, guys. Look how soft that looks. It looks like buttercream icing. <laughs> I love this, this part. It just reminds me a lot of like cake icing. So you're gonna make sure you're gonna whisk it thoroughly get around those edges any like solid parts get that involved and just make sure that you're mixing everything together until it's nice soft and fluffy this is what the mixture should look like when you're done, nice and fluffy and combine. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use like a spatula type tool, one that you normally use to cover cakes. I'm gonna use that to put my body butter into the jar. If you really want this to really look really pretty, you can use like a plastic bag or something and pipe this into the jar so it looks nice and you know, like almost like an ice cream, <laughs> how that looks really nice and like swirly, but I just go ahead and I use a spatula to put this into the jar. Look how fluffy and lightweight that looks, guys. You can even tell it's so spongy and fluffy. It literally looks like buttercream icing. The reason why I stressed leaving the mixture out to go back to room temperature after taking it out of the fridge is because your results will not come out like this if you just go ahead and whisk it straight away. The mixture needs to be warm slash room temperature before you go ahead and whisk it so it can come out like this. I actually made the mistake the other day of rushing the process and this is what I did a lot over the past couple of years as well, where I just rushed the process. And every time I rushed it and I started to whisk too early, the mixture would harden and it just wouldn't be as fluffy as I like it to be. All right, so this is what it should look like at the very end. Look how lovely this looks, guys. It just looks scrumptious. It looks, it looks like something you can eat, but this is what you're gonna use to nourish your hair, your skin, and your nails. The reason why I kept these ingredients so simple is because I have very sensitive skin. Anything will make me break out in a rash. Anything will irritate my skin. I have very sensitive skin. So that is why I only used aloe vera gel, almond oil, and shea butter, and they work really well for me. This is just showing you guys how the texture of it and how light this formula is. And look how soft 
and glowy my skin looks my hands look really nice my nails i actually just took off um some nails today so my nails may not look the best as they normally do but as you can see the color of them everything looks really nice and just moisturized i found that this works well to just condition your nails also so that's the end of the video guys i hope that you enjoyed this let me know if you try this as well and like i said this is super simple great for sensitive skin great for your natural hair it's just great for everything this is a body butter that works well it's so multi-purpose and i have been using it for years and i have family and friends that i make this for and they love it too so let me know what you think down below and if you've tried it and i will see you guys in my next video bye